from the past master. I think Justin Jefferson will pull a Stefan Diggs. Or will the sides work it out? Give him the great work, Chad Sports. Thank you, past master. Um, I think Jefferson will work it out with Minnesota. I think the changes coming to that organization are going to end up benefiting Jefferson. He's a great football player. Diggs was done in Minnesota. He hated the offense. Jefferson's still feasting. His numbers are there, even more so than Diggs's were. So I, I wouldn't be panicked on that front if I were a Viking fan, at least not yet. Which team is the most likely to trade for Kirk Cousins? If you trade for Kirk Cousins, I believe Minnesota has to eat $10 million dead cap it, and then the team that trades for him is going to go out and get him for 35 mil. The top team that comes to my mind, and it's probably a lazy answer, is the Cleveland Browns. Kevin Stefanski was the OC in Minnesota in 2019 of recently. Now he's head coach in Cleveland. They got a lot of quarterback issues there. Not that I think Kirk Cousins is a great quarterback, but on that roster, I think it's a playoff caliber team. So for that reason, I'll say if he's traded, the most likely team would be the Cleveland Browns. From Bam Patrol, could you see Byron Leftwich as the Vikings head coach? I mean, it's possible. I'm very curious to see what path the, the, the Vikings pursue as uh, or for their next head coach. I think offensive mind would be a good fit. I wonder if Byron would be a great fit in Jacksonville in particular, but I think he'll draw some interest this year. I wonder, though, if Bruce Arians wants him to be the next head coach in Tampa. We will have plenty of NFL free agency coverage for you guys, so subscribe right now. Free videos every single day on everything you could possibly want on the NFL. Let's go to the pass master. Appreciate the super chat, my man. Remember, if you super chat, we'll get you on the show. Do you think the Vikings will finally draft to fix their offensive line or maybe get a true shutdown corner, keep up the great work? I would say the bigger, bigger need is corner. They let go of Breland. Uh, Jeff Gladney was an idiot, and he's no longer on the team. What's his name? Patrick Peterson hasn't been nearly as good as advertised, at least I think as much as they were hoping to get. They tried to fix some of their offensive line issues by going out and getting Christian Darasaw in the first round. He's been battling a lot of injuries. So I'll go ahead and say that I believe corner is the bigger issue right now for Minnesota. Now, if you guys haven't already, take a second, look underneath this video, and click that subscribe button. I know not everyone who's watching right now is subbed. You know how I know? Because I can literally check who's subscribed and who's not subscribed to the channel. Yeah, I know who you are. So if you're looking for news, rumors, draft, free agency, and more this offseason, we're going to be giving you guys videos every single day. The best deal on the internet, it's 100% free. YouTube.com slash ChatSportsTV. From Commander. Should the Vikings hire Brian Dable? I would love that hire. I think Dable deserves a shot as an NFL head coach. I think he's done a good job in Buffalo. Yeah, their ground game isn't great. I think that is more acknowledgement of their personnel and their talent versus just refusing to run the football. He is a Saban and a Belichick stable set success outside of those two coaching trees. I think he'd be a great head coach candidate. So who do you think will be the Vikings head coach in 2020? Two. Is it Dable? Somebody else altogether? Let me know who you think it is in the comment section. From Blazy. Should the Titans be favorites to win the AS to get the number one seed? It's a good question because the hate for the Titans is real. Nobody believes in them. Everyone's like, the Chiefs are going to do it. The Bengals, not the Bengals, the Bills are going to win. The Titans, even though they are probably going to get Derrick Henry back, there is some very real, we don't believe in the number one seed. So, do you believe in Tennessee or not? Who is the best team in the AFC right now? You feel good one way or the other? You know what you should do? Bet on it. Head over to our sportsbook partner, BetUS, chatsports.com, slash bet, promo code NFL, to get yourself a 125% deposit bonus. You can bet on who's going to win the AFC, the Titans, the, the favorites to be the number one seed, which they should secure when we win uh, this week, plus 450. They're going to get the bye. They're guaranteed to get to be one of the final four teams. That's a bit unusual for the number one seed to be that low. The Chiefs, plus 200. The Bills, plus five. The Bengals, AFC North champions, not even on here. The disrespect. The Colts are ahead of them, which I don't buy, by the way. 
From Shadow, do you expect any upsets in the postseason? This year has been a massive, massive parody-based season. So, yeah, I think so. Now, I want to see what the situation looks like matchup-wise before I make my predictions, but I would be surprised if there weren't any upsets this year. Now, here's a pretty uh, random question. Will Antonio Brown ever play again? Why for yes and for no? As I am making this video, he is still technically a member of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, for those of you that don't know, he literally ran off the field after the Jets game, or not even after the Jets game, during the Jets game, took off most of his clothes, said peace out, dropped an album, was courtside at an NBA game, and is still not with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So I'm going to go ahead and say no. I don't think he's ever going to play again, though. The NFL showed me this. If a player is really good and teams think that they can help you win, you probably have a shot. Why for yes and for no, will AB ever play again? Steven Crozio, which Week 18 primetime game shouldn't be primetime? The only one that should be is Raiders Chargers. That one should be a primetime game. Chiefs Broncos, Cowboys Eagles. I mean, I get why they did it to keep some semblance of balance, but I don't know if you needed those games in prime time. Those both could kind of end up being a bit of a snooze fest in the end. All right, y'all, who should get the NFL MVP this season? I mean, I think it's Tom Brady, which is pretty pretty mind-blowing, the fact that that man is 44 years old, and I really truly believe he's about to win the NFL MVP. Could it be Josh Allen, Dak Prescott? Joe Burrow might get a vote. Aaron Rodgers could win it again. Let me know, y'all, down in the comments who should get the NFL MVP. From Tyler Dow, does Chase or Mac Jones win Offensive Rookie of the Year? Mac Jones has been great. It's got to be Jamar Chase. It, don't laugh, Jack. You know I'm right. He Even super Mac Jones fan, producer Jack agrees, it's Jamar Chase. His production, it's obscene. Jamar Chase, by the way, was the correct pick for the Bengals, RIP the Panay Sewell pick, who also has been great for the Lions, just so we're clear, but it's got to be Jamar Chase. Let's go to James T. Who are the top teams to sign Devontae Adams this offseason? Well, I did see a report out there that apparently Green Bay is going to try to franchise tag Adams. Now, you can still do a tag and trade type of scenario. However, if he does hit the free agent market, I mean, I personally think the top team out there is the Raiders if they keep Derek Carr. Devontae Adams himself has said, it would be a dream come true to play with D.C. again. There's going to be plenty of teams. And when I say the top teams, every single NFL team, if Devontae Adams hits the open market, will be interested in him. He's the top wide receiver in the NFL. So who do you all think is the best team in the NFC? It's not Washington. can guarantee you that. If I got a vote, and hopefully I do, I would go ahead and I would say that it would going to end up being the Green Bay Packers. Now, some people might say the Rams. Some people might say the Buccaneers. Probably going to get some Cowboys in there as well. Who's the best team in the NFC? Let me know down in the comments. Beast Mode 11, who do you believe is the NFL's best interior defensive lineman? I mean, this is Aaron Donald, and I don't even know if it's all that close. Aaron Donald, if you're telling me right now I could have any player on defense right now, it's Aaron Donald. He's the best defensive player in the league. His ability to create pressure is he's had, what, 51 straight games? where he's had multiple QB pressures. I mean, it's just, the dude's insane. He's a monster. Now, if I don't get to your question, don't blame me. Blame Jeremy. Hit him up on Twitter at J.I. Beadling. Or you can always hit me up on Instagram. I'm at MitchellRens365. Please don't be afraid to slide in my DMs. Always uh, not afraid to answer your questions.